Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In a poll recently, I asked what you wanted to see swabbed for an upcoming video, and now is the time. So I went to my microbiology teacher and asked him for a handful of swabs at the end of the semester, as well as a stack of petri dishes because it would have to toss them out anyways because we're not using them and we finished up our lab, so I might as well take some and use them for something fun. So now is the time we're going to take these swabs and we're going to do stuff like a door handle, a phone, a computer, laptop, the bottom of my shoe, and even a public toilet seat. And obviously the first step before we actually get swabbing is going to be taking out these petri dishes, putting them out of my desk, setting them out, organizing them, and labeling them so I know what exactly I'm putting on there. So I can have one petri dish that says bottom of my shoe, one that says toilet seat, one that says phone. So when I come back to it, I know exactly what bacteria grew on that surface. So now what I'm hoping is that I have the exact amount of petri dishes that I have swabs because it'd kind of be unfortunate if I have a couple extra petri dishes and I don't have enough swabs to actually get them. We have 15 swabs and 11 petri dishes, so I have more than enough swabs where even if I mess up or want to do a control or something like that, I'd be perfectly fine to do so and not have to worry about having too many items that I want to swab and not enough swabs to do so. So let's get to swabbing. Here are the applicators or the sterile tips that I'm going to be using. is complete. I got the game controller, I got the cell phone, the toilet, the computer, toilet for a different plate, bottom of a shoe, a door handle here which are kind of hard to see, and then I did a control which is just going to be filtered water from our uh, Brita filters. Hopefully that doesn't grow anything. If it does then this whole experiment is pretty much out the window only because that shouldn't grow much if anything at all. So I'm gonna give them roughly a day to two days and then we're gonna identify or uh, just see what grows on them. Oh my goodness. You <laughs> You can so tell there. Okay, so there is a little fungi looking thing. You can tell from the uh, kind of hairy texture to it. Same with some of these, but there are so many different kinds of bacteria there. There's a big group there, a ton of them down there, one right next to it, which maybe I can focus on. Yeah, that is crazy. There are a couple inside of that, um, inside of that container. Wow. Anyways, holy cow, that's only game controller. So there's the game controller. Moving on, let's see my computer. This is my keyboard. Um, wow, quite a few things, a massive group. Um, I don't know what that is. This wasn't actually streaking for isolation. It was simply streaking to see if there was going to be bacteria. And you can definitely tell there were quite a few different groups. Um, you can see some different colors, some different sizes, shapes, stuff like that. And so I can't determine exactly what they were, but I can simply see the amount of bacteria grown on there. This is my door handle, can't see anything. Man, you can see my reflection, it's so clear. This one, it's hard to tell, um, even through light, you can see maybe one group right there. Um, but other than that, maybe one right there too. Doesn't really seem like much. I clean my door handle, like I said, kind of occasionally as well, only because a lot of people touch it. This one's interesting, only because you can see the clear difference in color for the filtered water. And I don't know if that means anything or not, but that one's just crazy to me to see. Look at that. Anyways, that was the Brita filter, that was the filtered water. And moving on to the bathroom floor. This is a public bathroom floor. Did it right in front of a toilet. And look how disgusting that is. Look at how much bacteria grew on that bathroom floor. 
you can see so many different colonies, different types, different sizes. Like you can see white, yellow, um, kind of some more orange. You can definitely see some fungi there, that growth is. Got that hairy texture, like I said earlier, flipping it around. Oh my gosh, the amount of stuff on here. That is absolutely crazy. Cool cluster down there in the bottom. Um, man, that is just, that is absurd. By far the worst had to be that bathroom floor. Then after that would have to be the game controller. That is, that is disgusting. So although I didn't show all of them, I only showed the worst of the worst. Some of them didn't have anything at all. And so I decided not to show those obviously just because to save time and not make this video too drawn out. But uh, that was, that was actually crazy. The bathroom floor and the game controller and the computer were all by far the worst that I had seen of any of the bacteria on any of those different types of mediums that we grew them on. Um, makes me definitely want to clean off my things a little more often, not like once a week, but maybe twice or three times a week or not once a month, but once a week instead, um, just because of the amount of bacteria that I was able to see and grow on them and actually visualize it. So this test didn't actually determine specific types of bacteria, but a couple of those slants determined if it was a gram positive or gram negative type of bacteria, which are just two categories. Um, you can see the different color and the sizes, the morphology of them was different between them all. So that was that was absolutely crazy and disgusting all at the same time. So other than that, if you did enjoy, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content and like the video so I know you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.